Welcome to CSUB Antelope Valley AV Advising How-To Guides. This video will go over how to add classes to your shopping cart and how to validate them thereafter. First thing you'll do is log into your CSUB student portal, click Enrolled under the Academics menu, select the term, and you'll be taken to your shopping cart. The shopping cart is similar to online shopping. You can put whatever you want in your shopping cart, but it's not yours until you continue to check out. In this case, you can not enroll in classes prior to, re to your registration appointment. We will begin by clicking the search button and selecting the subject if you're looking for a major or a minor course. Please check out the video on how to search for classes if you want to see how to check your general education courses. You'll click, and more importantly, you'll click on additional search criteria and select the location as Antelope Valley to make sure your classes are specifically for the AV satellite. Once you click search, you'll be able to view open classes only unless you select or unselect the open classes only box during the search. This, the purpose of this would be to see waitlisted or closed classes if you want to add yourself to those. Select the course you want to add and click Next. That will put the course in your shopping cart, but you will not be able to proceed to step two until your registration appointment is active. Prior to your registration appointment, you can load everything in your shopping cart, even backup courses, but until your registration appointment becomes active, they simply are gonna sit there. One thing you can do while you have your classes in your shopping cart is to validate them. The purpose of validating classes is to check if you'll have problems registering once your registration does become active, and I will show you how to do that. You'll click on the Plan tab at the top of your menu, and then you'll click Get Back to Your Shopping Cart so that you can see the Validate button at that point. You'll check the classes you wish to validate, and it'll check for potential enrollment errors. Such errors could be like a prerequisite that is not currently met. That means the prerequisite is either in progress during this semester um, or you've submitted transcripts for it, but it hasn't yet been evaluated. It could also mean that you're trying to add a main campus course. Although you are allowed to add uh, main campus courses, the system needs a manual override, which we can do for you. If you fill out an enrollment error request through this link, I will post the link in the description of this video. You want to submit an enrollment error request as soon as possible. We will ask you when your registration date and time is so that we can add it to your schedule once your registration becomes active, but you do not have to wait until then to submit the request. Things we cannot override is if the class is full, um, you have a time conflict, or you're trying to add a course offered through Extended University or by a different satellite campus. So let's get started. Go to www.csub.edu, select the three lines on the top right corner, and my CSUB. Log into your account using your NetID and password. Click on Enroll. Select the term. I already have a couple of courses in my shopping cart. If your shopping cart is empty, it just means you haven't added anything to it yet. You'll click on the search button, select the subject, click on additional search criteria, and choose location, Antelope Valley. Notice the Show Open Classes box is checked by default. If you want to see waitlisted or full classes, uncheck this before you proceed. When you do the search, classes that are in your shopping cart, and you can see those over here, I can click Show All to see everything I'm in the shopping cart. If you're already enrolled in classes, they will be listed under My Class Schedule. If you've already selected a class, there is no select button here. That's to make sure you don't think you're adding an additional class when this class has already been selected. So we'll pick a different class over here. 
If the days and times listed says TBA and the room says web online, this is an online course. There is no face-to-face -face meetings. If there is a date and time, even though there is no room listed yet, this will require you to attend class during these days and these times. Classes that have dates and times in them are either face-to-face -face or ITV. If you want to see which of these it is, click on either of the links for that class and look at the further information here. It says instruction mode face-to-face. -face. If it was an ITV class, it would say ITV on there. It also gives you the class capacity, total enrollment, waitlist capacity, and if there's anyone on the waitlist for it. You can either select the class under here or if you're still looking for other classes, you can go back to the results and continue to search the rest of the classes. That may work better with um, your schedule as far as days and times or whatever is required in your academic outline if you have multiple choices. I will simply pick any class here to demonstrate. This screen is simply to confirm that you pick the right class. If it is, you click Next. If this is a waitlisted class, you might want to check waitlist if class is full before you continue. Click Next, and here is my shopping cart. Until your registration appointment becomes um, active, you cannot proceed to step two. If you try that, you'll get this little warning on top. You do not have a valid enrollment appointment at this time. This is why we want to validate the classes so that we can foresee any problems you may have once your registration becomes active. To do this, you'll go to the Plan tab on the top, click on Shopping Cart again, and you will see now the Validate button right in between Delete and Enroll, which is a third option we did not have before. You'll click on any class you wish to validate and you'll click the Validate button. When you validate classes, you'll either get green check marks on these, which means that you will not have any problem adding these, or you will see red X's, which uh, lets you know there's going to be a potential problem with you trying to add this class. The first class, <coughs> it's giving me a prerequisite error for lower division core classes for business majors. The second class, it's telling me I do not have my GE Section A2 met. And the third class, it's telling me I do not have Criminal Justice 1108 met or permission from the instructor to add. So all three classes would give me an error for me because I am not an undergraduate student. Your enrollment errors would be different. You can go back to the shopping cart to gather all the information you need to fill out the enrollment um, error request form and submit it as soon as possible if that's the case. If you get green check marks for all of your classes, you do not need to submit this request as your registration will go through exactly as you have it planned. Hope this video helped. Have a great day.